Y yesterday we, or the day before yesterday, we heard um, reports that the American government is urging Singapore to close about 10 companies, which are connected to um, Burmese drug money and illicit um, money in Singapore. And before the the um, Singaporean government always said there is no drug money in Singapore. We are very careful on that. So did the American money? Uh, did the American government? by urging you to close these companies make a mistake or was your earlier statement that there is no drug money in Singapore um, not correct? I'm not familiar with the details, but our position is as you have stated, which is that uh, uh, drug money is illegal in Singapore. It is a crime. And if we have any evidence leading to uh, such a suspicion, we will investigate and the culprits will be apprehended. That is our clear position. But as to specifically what the Americans provided us and how we responded, uh, I'm not familiar with the details. Please. Global Television ZDF. Uh, also a question about money. Did you discuss <laughs> the role of Singapore as a safe haven for capital and the implications of the Liechtenstein scandal? Um, yes, we did discuss it. Uh, Singapore is not a tax haven. We are a low tax country, but we're not a tax haven. And we have uh, avoidance of taxation agreements with many countries, including with Germany. What this means is, in order to implement such an agreement, our tax authorities have got to be in constant communication with each other as to who's paying taxes and therefore how to avoid uh, people being taxed twice. So the situation which arose in your case with Liechtenstein uh, cannot happen here. But the question goes uh, deeper into actually the holding of accounts and the safety and security of accounts in Singapore. So the question is not tax evading, but uh, is your position to uh, position yourself as something like Switzerland of Asia? Uh, and in that respect, uh, offering perhaps more opportunities in the long run or even now than Switzerland or Liechtenstein? We are an international financial center. So banking secrecy is, is very important, it's protected by law, but at the same time we do not condone uh, drug money or terrorism money or money laundering, and these are crimes. And if there's any evidence uh, leading us to suspect that individuals are involved in them, we will investigate mm. and follow up. So that's the position that we take. We, we, we are a high quality uh, jurisdiction, uh, we are a financial centre uh, with many of the world's biggest banks are located here. So we take our regulations uh, with the utmost seriousness. Also ich darf jedenfalls bestätigen, wir haben das Thema nicht gemieden. Und mir ist es natürlich auch nicht erst bekannt, I can confirm, I for one can confirm that we have not shirked the issue today in our discussions today. I would also like to uh, make it clear that it is not only since the Liechtenstein case came to our attention that this has been a topic to be discussed by the European Union and the ASEAN member states. It's always been a topic uh, about which we've had a sometimes heated debate a couple of times. Um, and um, I I believe that this topic here is being um, received and noted with the necessary degree of sensitivity. I um, also beg the understanding of the Singaporean government for the fact that, of course, it is a subject matter that is being discussed in Germany right now with a great deal of emotion, because we fear that we're going to lose substance in Europe if larger units avoid ta taxation. That kind of substance is necessary for you if we want to develop our economic situation, stable, uh, the situa stabilize the situation on our domestic front, establish the right social framework and educational conditions that we need. And I trust that people here are aware of that being so. As far as questions of taxation laws and tax secrecy are concerned, as I said, it's something that we've been discussing not only recently amongst the EU and the ASEAN member states, and we've not always been in agreement. German newspaper Frankfurt Allgemeine Zeitung. Mr. Steinmeier, what do you expect Singapore to do in regard to, um, to taxes and tax evasion and bank secrecy? Well, basically, there's nothing new that we have to do or ought to do. We just have to continue the talks that are ongoing between the European Union and Singapore ASEAN, that is, about how practices that are uh, the rule of the day within the European Union to provide control information are being dealt with and handled 
with respect to the European Union and ASEAN. I'm at this point in time not in a position to say how far the export talks um, headed by Peter Mendelssohn on the EU side have proceeded, um, but we have to continue to talk about it. So if, I, if I can just end by saying that we have good channels between our two tax authorities and their issues, let them be raised in a professional manner, and we will look in, into each other's concerns. As for ASEAN-EU relations, that is something which, as uh, Minister Steinmeier said, something which Peter Mendelssohn will take up in conjunction with negotiations for this free trade agreement. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.